For those among you, and you're sitting with us today, and in our thoughts today, who are exceptional within the exceptional. That's why we're here today, to honor those rare few who have looked certain danger in the face, faced it with incredible valor, and all the while saying, it's my duty. I'll ring it in your head. You know, there's a poem that uh, could be describing each one of you here today, and it goes like this. It says, a person who knows the divine peace of selfless service and a job well done in the name of all men, a person who doesn't preach the brotherhood of mankind, they live it as a firefighter or a cop. You know, uh, you could uh, face danger every single day, and uh, yet uh, you do it just to keep the rest of us safe. The neighborhood I grew up in, an awful lot of guys became cops or firefighters. In my neighborhood, you became a cop, firefighter, or you learned a trade, or you became a priest. I wouldn't qualify for any of them. <laughs> but I'm serious. There's something about you all. You can smell it when you're 10, you're 12, you're 15. And God, we're lucky for it, man. I marvel at what makes them tick. I marvel at what makes them tick. And like all Americans, I truly honor those of you who, those who have laid down their lives like your husbands did for their fellow citizens. What is it that drives someone like Sergeant Timer Batinger to approach a dark attic with full knowledge that there's a fugitive waiting up there with a weapon? What is it? What is it that pushes a man like Trooper Joshua Miller to think that the safety of a kidnapped nine-year-old child is more important than his own physical safety? To engage the kidnapper even after he'd been wounded instead of trying to find cover or get treatments for his wounds. What is it? What is it that causes uh, men like Deputy William Stittler and Cameron Justice to answer the call, even when they're at home and off duty. What pushes men like that to run in the hail of bullets, give their lives, their fellow deputies, out of the line of fire? It's hard to define these qualities. I've done many of these over my career. My association with firefighters and police has been as long as I can remember. It's been the essence of my public life. And as many of these things that I do, I still grapple with what makes you do what you do. And just thankful that you do. You can't explain it, but you know it when you see it. I see it in the shield over someone's heart. I see it in the men and women who are sitting here before us today. You're all a different breed. Thank God for you. Our next recipients are Officer Timothy McClintock, Officer Max McDonald, Officer Douglas Weaver, Sergeant Carl Lounge Jr., and Fallen Sergeant Thomas Batinger of St. Petersburg, Florida Police Department. January 24th, 2011, a Federal Fugitive Task Force tracked a violent suspect to his house. Two members of the task force found this suspect in the attic. As they attempted to make an arrest, he pulled out his gun and shot both of them. One of the officers fell through the attic to the floor below. The suspect moved the other fatally wounded officer to an attic opening, trying to lure the fellow officers in. Officer McClintock, already on the scene, crawled to the downed officer on the floor. Even though he was under fire from above, he administered aid, pulled him back. Meanwhile, a rapid response team composed of Sergeant Bettinger, Sergeant Lounge, and Officers McDonald and Weaver entered the house to rescue those besieged officers. Sergeant Bettinger, a rapid response instructor, led the entry with a ballistic shield. With Sergeant Lounge providing cover, Sergeant Bettinger moved under the attic, and that suspect let loose a barrage of gunfire, killing 
Sergeant Betinger. All of the officers who were engaged in that rescue attempt came under continuous fire. The incident did not end until that fugitive was shot and killed. Under incredibly challenging and dangerous circumstances, confronting an assailant who had the advantage of cover, these five brave men risked their lives to rescue their fellow officers and to bring a fugitive to justice. In doing that, Sergeant Batinger made the ultimate sacrifice. I would first ask Officer McClintock to come forward. Officer McDonald. Officer Weaver. Sergeant Lounge. And now accepting for Sergeant Batinger is his wife, Paige Batinger. Would you come forward, please? Thank you to everybody.